Hello and good afternoon guys, welcome to MK Community Brokerage, my name is Mohammed, and I will be your host for today's video. Now what you see on the screen is called the Certificate of Liability Insurance. So those of you that don't know what it is, a Certificate of Liability Insurance is basically showing to other either companies that are asking for it, people that want it. Sometimes the insurance company takes longer to give you the bind binder and everything else to give it to the broker or agent. It takes time. So if you know your policy has been bounded, you can always give them certificate liability insurance. Obviously, you will have the policy number, effective date, and everything. Since you are the broker and agent of record, you will need to send this. Now, obviously, this video is usually for new brokers. Obviously, if you're experienced, you know what it is. If you're just new to the business, you're trying to learn, this is why the video is made. So producer obviously will be your information. So if you're the producer, you will write your information. Your obviously your brokerage name, then you put down the address with the place the business is, and basically you're done from there. You can put down your phone number if you want, contact information and everything. Obviously that's also an email. So you can do that, but you don't really need that for the for the company. If you want, obviously you want to be professional, you want to put more information, it's better, but you can do that. The insurance information is obviously simple. If it's a company's name, you put the company's name over here. If it's a personal's name, you put the personal's name over here. And you once you do that, you do, you do, you write it down over here. The insurers affording coverages. Now, obviously, sometimes you will write a, a liability policy or bigger than what it's supposed to be. So, for example, like you got a big contracting company, uh, they might have different insurers. Meaning that, you know, you're basically showing that, yes, I'm doing insurance for this person, this person, this person. This is why you have insurer A, B, and C. You need that. And the NAIC number, if you have it. So, obviously, over here, you just need to click on general liability. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. This is going to be a general liability or commercial liability. You don't know what it is. So, if it's just simple, you can just put down one or the other. You do not write down the policy name or number, should I say. The effective date. It's obviously simple. You write the effective date, the policy started, expiration date. Now obviously, these limits should be familiar, somewhat familiar to you guys. Each occurrence is, let's say, if you do a million dollars liability, so you could put down, oh, sorry, that was going to be over here, one, two, zero. That's it. Start it down. Million dollar liabilities, damages to rented premises, if you have it, obviously write it. If not, just leave it blank. Medical expenses, you could put down 5,000. Medical expenses is, for those people that don't know what medical expenses is, let's say, for example, if somebody comes, trips and falls in front of your place, right? Just want to go to the hospital, <clears throat> don't want anything else to do with, don't want to take go to court or anything, just want the medical expenses to be taken care of. That's up to $5,000 that the company will basically give the person for medical expenses. Now, a lot of times people don't want to, you know, get it, What's the word I'm looking for? Don't want to get involved in this. People say they pull down zero. Now the people want to fight, saying that the person purposely slipped and fall and everything, stuff like that, so that they don't have to go through the insurance. You could do that as well, but a lot of times people do want to put down the number, which is either one thousand, five thousand. So just in case you know they don't go after higher liability, they'll just go after whatever whatever is available. General aggregate is up to whatever it is going to be. Product company aggregate, and this is something that will be discussed with insured before that. It's up to you. Personal advertising injury as well. You could do right the amount. You could have done a, a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, whatever it is. Obviously, it depending on what type of liability are you covering for the for the insured. So obviously, if it's just a general liability, it's just simple. If you have an auto liability as well, so a lot of times companies do have cars as well. This should be basic. The bodily injury, per accident, per accident, per damages, and everything should be filled out. Garage liability, obviously, if you do have a garage liability, you need to put that as well. Umbrella, if you do have an umbrella, with the, with the you know commercial umbrella or personal umbrella, depending on what, what they're doing, you need to fill that part out as well. As you can see, this could be for multiple policies. It's only for one. So if a person has a construction company, they have a commercial umbrella as well. And they also have uh, a car as well they're using for construction, like the big construction truck. All the stuff will be listed over here. 
discretion operation obviously you can write down you know uh, business of ABC construction company locations and vehicles and everything certificate holder that's insured certificate holder and everything you write that down it's simple the information their uh, address and everything and this is your signature as a broker and obviously the part two is just important part they tell you about the disclaimers and everything else but once you're done with this you're basically done you can uh, print it out fax it to them email it to them obviously once the policy is binded you need to send it to them so obviously it's simple as it is it's not that difficult um, you know obviously you just, it's basic pedigree information you just send them out as well um, but that being said that's about it thank you again guys for watching my video hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys learned something from this if you do have any other questions comment concern please comment like subscribe I'll try my best to help you as much as possible to clarify any confusion you guys have Thank you again guys for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it.